there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have some Woodland Critter Huggers cards featuring some spring flowers and really focusing on Mother's Day, but also showing an example of using a ver the same design to create just a kind of anytime type of card. So maybe you have several Mother's Day cards to create. You could create a whole bunch of them to give out maybe to lots of moms in your life just as an encouragement type thing, or if you want some sort of just happy mail for people, you can do that as well. Lots of different occasions, anniversaries, weddings. I think these could be used for so many things, birthdays, all kinds of things. Today I'm gonna to be using the Gemini to cut out all of my pieces. I have got my cutting plate, my plastic shim, and then the metallic platform my dies face up and I've already got lots of little scraps here and I'm just simply laying them over the dies, which again are face up, sandwiching that with the clear top plate and then running it through the Gemini. I have to tell you guys, this is actually the very first time I've ever used this and it worked great. Now, I didn't notice that my leaf, my cardstock shifted, so I am gonna have to fix that. Such a bummer, but that's okay but just die cuts all of these at once. I'm really a huge fan of die cutting as many pieces as I can with one pass of whatever machine I'm using. So in this case, I am die cutting the components for to create a like a little um, squirrel, I guess, with the woodland. You can create lots of different um, critters with these woodland, um, gosh, critter huggers, sorry. And then I'm also die cutting components from a couple of other die sets, the Little Flowers and the Spring Sprig. And these are fantastic. What inspired my cards is the fact that I'm absolutely in love with the Little Flowers and Spring Sprig. These are from the latest Lawn Fawn release. And they work great size-wise with the woodland critter huggers and I thought it would be really fun to show how the woodland critter huggers can be used on a card. They don't have to be used by themselves to create cute little gift card pockets. They absolutely can and are adorable that way but I'm always a big fan of getting as much as you can from the products you have. So if you have these and you created cute Valentines with them, or I think I even showed some Christmas examples with these um, a few months back, lots of ways to use these. They can be gift tags, they can hold gift cards, whatever, but they also make adorable card accents or scrapbook page accents, all kinds of things. So what I'm really focusing on here is using them on a card. And in fact, everything but my greetings on these cards is die cut. So these are almost a 100% die cut card with the exception of a simple little stamped greeting. And really, if I could have fit a die cut greeting on here, I probably would have. But size wise, I didn't think anything I had worked very well. So I just used the stamps instead. And I think that that really is a nice subtle look. We're going to add a little Distress Ink to parts of the design here. So my squirrel, I used antique linen on the vanilla malt cardstock. Very, very light, but you can see it makes a huge difference in the depth and dimension of these critters. For anything cut from the paper bag cardstock, which is my absolute favorite brown, I love this. We're going to ink up with gathered twigs distress ink along the edges. So along the top, along the bottom, and then the arms are gonna fold in. So really the best way is to kind of flip that over, add a little bit of ink to this as well. And then when you turn him over and fold him up, you can really see that inked edge. Let's go ahead and do the tail and also the little feet. I could really imagine maybe even a trifold card or a long card with several critters or a scrapbook page with these all along the bottom. Don't you think that would be so cute? I just, these guys are adorable and really, really fun. The flower pot was die cut from canned pumpkin Lawn Fawn cardstock and I'm inking it up with a little rusty hinge to just 
deepen the edges, give it a little bit more of that dimension. Anything that's really small, I'm not going to ink because either the ink will cover the whole thing. So any of those little flowers in the little spring sprig, we're not going to do any of those. Um, we won't do the flower centers or, or anything like that. Now, before I go any further with my inking, I do have a background die cut with um, from the Gotta Have Gingham yellow pattern paper with a small stitched rectangle die the largest from that die collection, and we're gonna mat it on a white cardstock piece die cut using an outside in stitched scallop rectangle. And I'm gonna go ahead, line up where my greeting is gonna go using the Misty, stamp that with a little black ink. I didn't wanna stamp it after I had adhered anything because it's gonna add so much bulk and I was afraid I wouldn't get a very clean stamped image. Then we'll go ahead and start assembling this cute little guy. So the stomach, the face, the feet along the bottom. We're just gonna build this little guy, adhere him, and then we can start building all of the flowers. We're gonna adhere his hands together with a little glue dot, and that way we can tuck the flower pot in there in just a little bit. So he's holding this little pot of flowers. Tuck the tail back behind. The little pink cheeks and the nose piece, all of these were die cut. The uh, nose from Black Licorice cardstock. The eyes, I'm gonna use some tweezers because I really think that's gonna help. Adhere these right where I want them to go. I love my little needle nose tweezers here and we're going to adhere the eyes also die cut from black licorice cardstock the cheeks are die cut from ballet slippers cardstock if you didn't want to do die cutting for the cheeks a little sponge sugar applied with a dauber a sponge dauber would be really cute as well i like to do that too the little insides of the ears were die cut from the chocolate chip Think that's what the color's called. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, card stock and adhered. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the little edge to the flower pot, which gives it that great dimension. And then we wanna tuck some things inside. So the one flower pot's gonna be sitting down on the ground and it's gonna have this little spring sprig coming out of it with purple and lavender flowers. And the other flower pot's gonna be tucked in his arms with, or her arms, with a couple of sunflowers inside. I've also die cut the little flower accent from the Woodland Critter Huggers die collection to tuck up on her little head. This was die cut from Sticky Note and Sunflower cardstock, as well as cilantro. We're inking up the edges of any of the yellow sunflower flower pieces with Wild Honey Distress ink. And for the leaves and the stems, we're going to do a little mowed lawn distress ink. To save a little time, you definitely would not have to add any additional inking. I just like the little touch it adds to the card. Just make sure and clean up your work surface so that you don't accidentally transfer the ink to your project. We're gonna tuck the flower stems into the flower pot and they are, these flowers are pretty tall. They're going to cover part of the face but I think that's what's kind of cute almost like the little squirrels kind of hiding back behind the flowers in the flower pot, but I don't want it to cover too much of the face. So I really kind of fussed with this quite a bit to get that. We've also got some dark brown for the centers of these little sunflowers or daisies, whatever they might be. I'm using glue dots to adhere these, two layers for each flower and then the flower centers tucking leaves underneath the flower up, tucked up there by her ear. And let's go ahead and get that positioned exactly now. Isn't it cute that it looks like the little critter is holding that flower pot? It just, size-wise, these went together so well. Adding some glossy accents to the centers of the sunflowers, to the center of the flower on her head, and also the nose is gonna give them an awesome glossy raised finish. 
Now I'm going to use a little Ranger multi matte medium to add little dots of glue to the spring sprig and I am placing purple and lavender flowers on each of those. So it's a really full flower pot and we're going to also include a few additional flowers down on the ground. So almost like some of the blooms fell off and are laying there on the ground. We're going to take a white pin and add some little highlight detail to the whole thing. Again, this is an extra step that if you were on a time crunch, you could definitely leave off. I love the look of a little white pin detail. I'm going to add this pretty much to everything, uh, mostly along edges and things like that on the critter, the flower pot, the flowers themselves the butterfly that we're going to be adding here in a little bit. And once every all the glossy accents is dry, we will be adding highlights to the nose, the flower centers, and adding a little detail there as well. The cheeks even get a little highlight. And I'm spinning this around, hoping to keep my hands out of the glossy accents. I probably should have waited to the end to add that. I was a little bit anxious to see how that was going to look. Next, I've got my butterfly that I'll ink up with a little Peacock Feathers Distress Ink around, around the edges. And this was die cut with the smallest mini pop-up butterfly. There's the pop-ups and then there's the actual die cut butterfly, which we're going to use here. And the, the body of the butterfly was die cut from Storm Cloud and the wings from Mermaid. And we'll just go ahead and hear this right above the stamped greeting. A cute, fun little accent. Again, mixing and matching dies from the Lawn Fawn collection to really create a complete die cut card design. And then we'll take that white pen and again add some detail around the edges of the butterfly to really complement and coordinate with the rest of the design. I like to use some tweezers to kind of help hold that body down until the glue sets and dries a little bit. We'll add a few more little blooms. This is where I was talking about adding some blooms on the ground. I think it really fills in the whole scene and adds to that whole floral feel. Adding little dots of glue to the flower centers and replacing them with some little flower centers that were die cut with cilantro cardstock. All these little die cut layers make for a much more interesting and fun design. Now I'm not going to add any white detail to these flowers because again, very, very teeny tiny, but I am going to add some glossy accents to the butterfly body and I'm going to add glossy accents to these little teeny tiny flower centers as well. It's going to give the flower centers a little bit more of a raised finished look. So just a tiny dab, a fine tip applicator on your glossy accents really helps with these little teeny tiny dots. Once this is all dry, we're going to adhere this card base or card um, panel to a card base and it's going to fill the entire card base really. So I'm just going to put the adhesive on the card base itself, replace my panel and that is going to finish up this first card. Once that glossy accents is dried, I'm going to just share. I like to add my white pin de detail over anything with glossy accents because it shows up so much better. If you apply it before, it really gets lost um, once you apply glossy accents over it. So I always apply it afterwards. Here's a look at the finished card all those little raised accents, all that great die cutting. And then the second one I'm going to share has an owl, which was created with all the same components, just made into a little owl critter and it's holding the pot with the spring sprig and the other flower pot sitting off to the side. So two examples using the same dies. Thanks for joining me today for this video featuring a Mother's Day card and an Anytime card with Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. Please be sure to visit the Lawn Fawn blog for more information on this project. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.